here with Dr. Brandon Flowers, and we're here for a bit of an update on the new medical clinic in Concord. So maybe uh, let's just get right into it. Uh, what's been happening since we, sp we spoke about two months ago, I believe now. Yeah, there's, there's been a few changes. I'm sure everyone has them in, a, in their personal lives, but uh, there's been some changes in our, in our clinic lives here as well. Um, as uh, many people in the community may know, we actually hired to uh, two physicians, Dr. Van Straten and Dr. Dietrichsen, and uh, they've actually uh, decided to, uh, to to move on. So they've actually uh, given notice to us uh, at Maple Leaf that they're uh, going to stop uh, accepting patients, and they're going to be acting as a locum physician instead, which means uh, we actually don't know where they're going to go. Um, but uh, but that that's the major update. That's the down the downside to the updates, but. We, we are still working on finding some some alternatives to better, better serve serve Cochrane so definitely and um, yeah because so that means I mean you were building waiting lists I understand or, or patient lists I understand you were getting a great response to that so how are you handling that uh, should people maybe just be patient before they ask to become a, a, a part of your clinic oh I mean we would love for there to be some some patients, but we're certainly understanding that healthcare is important to everyone. We do want everyone to have have a family doctor for for them to call their own. Um, so yeah, patients would be would be important. We've got uh, quite a few people who are calling the clinic, understandably asking what's going on, what are the updates, how do we manage this. Uh, so right now we do have a wait list still. We are uh, we've got a priority wait list. For, so for those people who who weren't able to see Dr. Dietrichsen or Dr. Van Straten, there is a priority wait list. So you will continue to be on that wait list. And there is also another wait list. We're upwards, you know, a few hundred people already that, uh, that we're, uh, we're calling in previously. So we will reach out whenever we do find, it's not an if, but when we find someone, um, we'll, we'll get a physician into our new clinic and uh, we'll notify you. We also have our updates on our website. So. Uh, we're keen on directing people to our, our website so that um, so that they can take a look there and uh, get all the up-to-date information and uh, and then know what to do from there. Great. Are there any uh, prospects perhaps for for new physicians in your clinic or Yeah, I mean there are there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of change going on in Cochrane right now, but uh, we do have some prospects. Um, we don't have a timeline for for them at this point, but we do have some prospects. And uh, we will continue to uh, to find positions where we're looking in other avenues. So that's where I, I had a similar message before. If, if anyone knows anyone, any physicians uh, within their networks, please send them our way. Put it on, put it on Facebook, uh, put it on social media, however you can. This really is now a community wide effort that we would really love to enlist as many people as possible. It's uh, it's a word of mouth is, is, uh, is important. And we truly believe that if someone knows someone else that's a physician that that'll actually in, increase the uh retention rate in the long term so please if you know anyone we'll do our best to find someone multiple people and if you guys can participate too that'd be great super and just one final thing maybe the, the physical clinic itself you say it's just about ready to uh, you know it's just about completed or yeah just about uh as i'm sure some people can appreciate uh construction is uh is can be a fluid uh, decision. And so right now we're, we're getting close to that, but we don't have a firm date. We'll, we'll certainly include that on the, on the website as well, uh, but we are getting close. Uh, we have a beautiful space that will be wonderful to serve the community and, uh, and keen, to, uh, keen to do that. Right. Well, hey, I think that kind of wraps it up, doesn't it? Unless there's something else you want to add. Uh, no, I guess just for, I, I, did, I did forget to mention that the, the patients who did see the two doctors, um, there will be letters going out. And so uh, they should be receiving those letters shortly. And it'll say that uh, those doctors will be around here till the 31st of January. They're still doing one morning a week here. So if you if you have been seen by Dr. Dietrichsen or Dr. Van Straten, then you can still see them on, on one of those mornings. Uh, but we would, we would suggest looking for alternatives as well, trying to put your, put your name on wait list as much as possible um to, to try to get your health care needs met and uh, and we, we we apologize this this is a surprise to us and we know this is frustrating and disappointing to to the community but um but we we are we're trying to 
have positive spin on this and we are we remain dedicated to uh to the healthcare of of, of Cochrane. Awesome. Well thank you so much.